All right, guys, here I am in the garage, the Powell House of Pain, about to do my very first workout since I actually tore my ACL. I don't know if you caught that video, but I was in at Epic Weekend, which is a coaching thing for our peeps, and um, I was having too much fun. I thought I was like 19 years old doing cheer kicks and jumps. Apparently my ACL didn't hold up. I go into surgery in about a month, and this is actually, I figured this is the perfect time because people are wanting to know, okay, if you are injured, what is it that you can do? All right, so I'm gonna take you along on what I am doing today. I will say first things first, check with your doctor 100%. I checked with my doctor. He did say as long as I brace up and I do straight forward movements, nothing lateral, and I make sure my knee and my leg is stable, I will be A-OK -okay to work out until surgery hits. Okay, so the first move I'm doing, this is a, um, I don't even know what you call it. It's almost, it's a single-legged Romanian deadlift, but I'm doing stabilized with the bench. Um, I'm gonna be holding a weight in one hand, and then I'm gonna use my other hand to stabilize my body, again, because when you are injured, um, like my doctor said, it is super, super important that we keep that other leg super tight, super stable. We're gonna wanna keep all of the muscles around it super tight. Now, before I get into this, I do wanna say, you will want to 100% make sure that there's no swelling in your knee. The second you notice swelling, you're gonna wanna stop. If there's pain, stop. And again, check with your doctor before you do anything. This is more just what I am doing before my surgery. I'll call it prehab for lack of better words because for me, I can't get in for surgery for a month and it's really important to me to make sure all the muscles around my knee are as strong as possible going in without compromising more damage to my knee. So I have a really, really, really tight knee brace. It's actually a wire frame, but there's a wire, not wire, metal side. So there's a metal frame to this, so it's keeping me nice and tight. Um, I have zero swelling in my knee now. It did go down. This, the injury happened about a week ago. Um, so I don't have any swelling. Um, so I am good to move forward. Again, if I feel any pain, I'm gonna stop. If I feel like my stability is compromised, I'm going to stop. That is very important. If something doesn't feel right, I am 100% going to stop. Um, I am gonna go a, light, a lot lighter weight than I normally would. Instead of two 20 or 25 pound dumbbells, I'm just gonna be using one. And I'm gonna keep this leg super stable. We're gonna go with the good leg first, just to get that range of motion down. Prop up one leg on the back. We're gonna use, have the knee on the bench so I'm nice and stable. I'm gonna keep my weight in my front heel, the heel that's planted on the ground, keeping Holding the dumbbell, I keep my hand here for stability or to kind of make sure that glute is engaging, just like this. Keeping weight in the heels and squeezing through the butt. All right, that side is done. I did 15. I'm gonna go ahead and switch now to the other side, being super careful. I'm gonna be super, super careful as I switch. Make sure that back knee is stabilizing my front knee. Rest up against the bench. Again, if anything feels off, I am going to stop because it's more, it is more important to make sure my knee is not injured further than it is for me to grow my muscles. did it. Again, it was super lightweight, but just enough to get those muscles engaged, kind of keep me feeling fit, keep my muscles feeling good until I get that surgery. Okay, next exercise. Want some loves? Are you feeling lonely? Huh? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love you, sweet pea. Okay, workout time. Okay, the next move I'm going to be doing is a Bulgarian split squats. I am actually doing zero weight where I usually do a decent amount of weight with these. Um, I'm just gonna do it just to go through the motion and just to um, kind of make my, work my quads, glutes and hammies. All right, here we go. Here I go, weight in my heel and I'm not gonna straighten all the way. Just like this. Okay, the next move I'm gonna be doing, um, I am going to be doing some, I'm not banding them, but I'm doing hip thrusts. 
Um, and I'm going super lightweight. I, it, these look really heavy, but it's really only, this is a 10 pounder. So I'm really only doing 25. Okay, so one thing you'll notice is that when I did these, I did not bend my knee too much. I kind of kept my knee out a little bit. Um, and that way I could keep all the weight on my heels. Any weight on my toes at all would hurt my knee. Would probably make it swell a little bit. This was super light, um, exactly what I needed to do. I felt it. Puppy love. Oh, it's back on. Okay, the next move I'm gonna be doing is a reverse hyper. This is gonna keep all pressure off of my knees. It's going straight for my glutes. I'm actually gonna strap a band down here just like this. Got my transform band. I'm gonna keep it above my knees and then I'm gonna lay on this bench right here. I'm pressing wide with my knees and I'm gonna do sets of 15. Woo, here we go. Okay, the next move I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be doing some uh, glute kickbacks. Band above my knees. I'm gonna hold on to something stable and I'm just gonna kick back. I should not feel any pressure in my knees at all because I'm keeping that band above my knees. And I'm really squeezing my glutes. I'm gonna do 15 on each side. I lost count. So when I switch sides and I put my bad knee on the ground, I have to make sure I put a lot of weight, um, hold a lot of the weight in my hands and keep my knee bent and super stable so I'm not pulling it out. I'm gonna be super careful here. Fix the, I'm all sweaty and gross. All right, final move I'm gonna do tonight. What time is it? Is it not, is it midnight? 11.55. 11.55, getting close to midnight. Final move of the, of the night, I'm gonna be doing abductors, just using my little band right here. So this band's being used for a lot. Again, keeping the band above the knees, I'm gonna simply press my knees out. forward then I'm gonna lean back and do the same thing feeling it in a slightly different area so there you have it my leg workout oh hi Stella. my leg workout with my injury again key things to remember do not forget go light lighter weight than you are used to. Also pay close, close attention. If you feel any kind of pain, you're going to stop. Any kind of instability, you're gonna stop. And also most importantly, check with your doctor before you do this. But I am of the school of thought, um, no excuses. If you have to do things that are non-weight bearing, you get your upper body in, do some kind of cardio with your upper body, swim, whatever it is, um, that's what we do to stay fit, even in the midst of injuries. Okay. Let me know what you want to see next. Go ahead and comment below um, and I'll be back next time. Subscribe. Mwah.